Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video! I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up and today it's a tie-dye technique but we are using a stamp set to make it. We're using the timeless texture and we're using this stamp in the timeless texture. Uh, it's been many techniques out there, some use BB wipe and so on, just re -inker. I'm using a stamp set. This was BB wipe, so it's some difference in it, whatever you like, but today I'm sharing with you what I came up with, with um, uh, this stamp set here, how we're going to make that. What you're going to need is a coffee filter. I'm just having the regular coffee filter. Uh, it's the 8 to 12 cup, 8 to 10 cup. Take this, crunch it. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Open it up. And I just finished a Facebook Live on that. That was the one that I did on Facebook Live. Then we're going to open this up. Now we're gonna crunch, crunch, crunch. You just make those lines there. It's no right or wrong, after all, it's tie dye. It's never, not two cards gonna be the same. And I'm gonna do another uh, color combo. So I'm gonna tell you all the color combos soon we're done here. So now you get this, just squeeze that good here. Need a piece of scrap paper here. Here we go. Now open this up and you want to keep the line. So open it up, but you know, just here we go. Let me grab my, um, and we're going to start with tonight. We're going to use lemon lime twist, tempting turquoise and pumpkin pie. So it's going to be one, two and three. I think it's going to be something very flashy. I am sure. Going to start with the lemon lime twist. One thing you want to make sure it's that your ink pad it's ink very well. Going to put that there. You want to keep some of the pleat and go. I would say about oh three fingers because we want to keep some white. And it seems I always do too close, but I think this is going to work. So I'm going to have about three color of this one. Now we're going to move with uh, Tempting Turquoise. I'm going to wipe my stamp here. Now that's going to go right above the green, but you want to keep some white there. It looks better if you keep some white. I think three fingers, it's a good recipe to be honest. And now we're going to wipe that. Oh, maybe I can do just a little bit there. Here we go. And really it won't show there. I don't know why I did that. Then we're going to use pumpkin pie. This technique, it's a little bit longer than um, like baby white, but I just love the end result of this. And this is pumpkin pie. Here we go. So now you get your stripe here. Now, what we're going to do is take our spritz bottle. It's someplace around here. I had it in my hand a few seconds ago. Here it is. So we're going to take, this is just plain water in it. And that's what make it very look tie-dye. So just leave it this way. Take your spritz bottle and... Okay, you could let it dry, but I think the trick to this, if you use the heat tool, and you know what, we could uh, speed up the process a bit there. Here we go, remove some of the water. Pull this apart. Now you're going to take this. And this is just a piece of wood. I got that from a lady that came to visit me in Cheyenne for a garage sale. I think her name was Mary, if I remember correctly, and she gave me that. So it's a foil under, 
and it speed up the process. I won't dry it all because it's going to take, I would keep you busy, but what I want to show you, you see it get all crinkled as it dry again. And I think that's what make it lovely. See how it's crinkled as it dry? So after it's going to be all dry, I'm going to, well, let's keep it. I think we can do it. I think you can see as it dry, it get even more crinkled. And I that's what I like about this. It really make that look even more tie-dye-ish. You know what? This is almost dry. We're going to be able to finish this. Here we go. We're going to set that aside and we're going to do part two of our card. That's going to be a tie-dye flower. So for the inside of our card, I got a piece of white cardstock that measure um, five and a, uh, no, four and a quarter by, um, I'm going to make sure it's the right one. Yes. So it is um, five and a quarter by three, back up the bus. Five by three and three quarter. Five by three and three quarter. See? Five. Oh, that's five and a quarter. Yes, for the inside of the card. It's five and a quarter by four. Five and a quarter by four. Now we're using um, this stamp set here that is, uh, what is it again? Flower shop. So we're going to use this. We're going to use the marker in the same colors. So I got Tempting Turquoise, Pumpkin Pie, and lime, Lemon Lime Twist. You want to start with the lightest color. Just try to pay attention where you put the lines so you don't put on top of each other. And then I'm going to use the Tempting Turquoise. I'm using the fat uh, side, the brush side. So I just go and do this. It don't have to be perfectly straight. Trust me, when it's done, it won't even show. Now the pumpkin pie. I should have done maybe pumpkin pie first. It don't matter. Okay, now I'm going to take my brush. Just wipe it. Make sure it's no other color on it. Now take the spritz bottle again. You know I had my spritz bottle. It's a clear bottle and now I cannot even see it in my mess. That is a sad day. Well, let me reach for another one. We're going to take spritz bottle, spritz this, and take your paper and stamp this. Voila! Is that cool? It really looked like tie-dye. So that's for our inside. I spritz water there I shouldn't have, but it went that way. Now we're gonna take, um, I got real red, and really real red don't go under that. So I'm gonna use uh, switch my color, so I won't mind it at, at all. I'm gonna use uh, pumpkin pie and uh, tempting turquoise so now what you're going to do take your this here if you got a glue stick a glue stick would uh, work lovely i don't have a glue stick so what i'm going to do is just use snail and i want to make sure that it's covered so that's why i'm saying if you get a glue stick that would be awesome take this Put that over here. Depends which side. Do you want it on the long way, going this way, or you want it face up? Either way, it's good. I'm going to put it this way this time. Okay, now we're going to do the corners. So put a snail in the corners. And you don't want Tombow for this because Tombow would get through the coffee filter and it would make more of a mess. Just do the corner at the point there, fold this down, do oops, all four corners first, 
and if you do the corner like this first it's going to be a lot easier to finish folding this it's going to make a nice finish if you go just all the flap the corner get all a big chunk of the coffee filter and it's not as nice now we're going to leave it that way now it's going to go this way i'm going to leave it flat i'm going to use dipper denim maybe we can put that in the back we'll see stylized birthday stamp set the single stamp set just look where your bottom is there here we go give a good impression on that now we get that done now we can i like to do that before i fold it because it makes kind of bumpies and this is plenty long you can cut some if you want or leave it all there whatever you prefer you can cut some of them take this now and bring that down pull kind of art so it's very straight and nice finish at the end pull that hard and again over here oops make sure your paper don't curl up like almost done there this one it's very long i'm just gonna add snail there Pull that up, make sure you pull right at the edge. Et voila, my friend, how cool is that? So this one, it is a lemon lime twist, a tempting turquoise and pumpkin pie. This one here looked like a pink. It is not pink. It was real red, um, crushed curry and lemon lime twist this one was real red daffodil delight this one is daffodil delight too also i'm sorry i said crush curry it's daffodil delight real red daffodil delight and pumpkin pie and this like looked like kind of a jean thing right with the blue and that's what i thought to do on this and i think it's going to work so i got uh, my daffodil here not daffodil i'm sorry they uh denim we're going to use the flower shop and we're going to stamp that blue on blue and we're going to punch this out oh did the wrong way that's okay my arrow need to face up i think and i add it down because the way that i mount it it go perfect with the punch okay arrow face up oh i went too well let's try that one more time i have to give place for my um here i go my punch have to go there but i want to keep a border also to mount here we go so now you see so i get a video on how to mount this stamp set so it's easy to use it with the punch now this is gonna go here that look pretty good and that's going to go there see and what i done i just use a toothpick did little dots there if you see that um let me show you quick so what i done for oops the little dots i just use white re-ink in my cover there and I just did little dots see and that I don't know I think it looked kind of that look so um I'm gonna mount this one I'm gonna keep the blue in the back but I can instead of red I'm gonna put a pip, um, pumpkin pie in the back so that's how I done my tie-dye the flower the coffee filter with the timeless texture and here is my flower in these colors i use the same color on the flower that i'm using on the front and here is the other one voila so this is it on my tie-dye technique with a stamp set and spritz water see now it's all dry but i love the way that it washed and this here was with um 
uh, let me think there, um, baby white. And I could have crinkled a little bit more before, but I think it looked pretty good. And this one, I think maybe if I would spritz it with water too. I think it was missing something. So this is how I did my uh, tie-dye. Hope you enjoy it. Till next time, happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye for now.